walking up and down the hallways uh, here, it's hard not to not to have little toys jump out at you. And then the sign, where do we know? It just, it, I think it, that might be one of the most descriptive business names I've ever heard, right? Because clearly it's a wearable based on Arduinos. Am I right? You got it. I got it. I all made right. it over the first hump. Yeah, that's great. That's great. So um, all these little things, uh, he's got he's got toys like you wouldn't believe. And he's got little holders uh -huh. for his little toys like you wouldn't believe. So uh, I can tell what your business does, but I have no idea what all these do. I mean, I, I'm assuming they're Arduinos, but based past that, I have no idea what these are. Tell me what all these toys do. Okay. Can I start at the beginning? Yes, please. Which is why I wanted to make a wearable Arduino. Okay, let's start so there. So there's lots of wearables for fitness and health, and I'm into that. Mm -hmm. And I'm frustrated because every six months they change the interface so you can't get your data. They right. own your data, yes. you can't get your data. They do that. That doesn't work for me. Doesn't. So I said, I have to make my own, mm -hmm. and I want other people to be able to take advantage, so let's make it open source, and let's use the most common hardware hacker design, which is Arduino. Mm -hmm. So basically, I found a way to make a small wearable gadget. It's a Bluetooth wireless sensor, mm -hmm. and it's programmable with Arduino language, and okay. that's the toys you're looking at here. Okay. So we can kind of go through and talk about what they do, Please. if you want. So the, the basic one, which we're looking at here, um, has the Bluetooth module, so uh -huh. it can talk to a phone or a laptop. Uh -huh. And it also has a nine degree of freedom sensor. Uh -huh. So it's got an accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer, so it knows exactly how you're moving. And that's, wow. that's the latest sensor. It's much more advanced than the typical fitness sensor, which is just acceleration. Uh -huh. It's got some memory and it's open source. So it will come with a fitness tracker, step tracker, but you can program it to measure weightlifting, yeah. bicycling, or maybe you're in a wheelchair, put it on there and program how far you go so yeah, people can yeah. do what they want with it. Okay. Plus they own their data, it doesn't go to some other company. It's like a pedometer on steroids. Yeah, except steroids are bad for yeah, you. Yeah, right, right. And this okay. Weekend, yeah. I used to be a doctor, so yeah. I got I to oh, add the did disclaimer. You? Yeah, that, I'm a retired doctor engineer, so that's why I'm doing this. Oh. So no, don't go on steroids. Okay. Um, so having, having said that, um, I want to do more with it, so this little board these have a little connector. Uh -huh. That means you can expand them. So I did a little board here that's a heart monitor. Were you a heart doctor? Um, a general general okay. internal medicine doctor. So with that snapped on there, you have a heart monitor you could pull up, and I have cases for it, but I'm showing them in the raw yeah, here. Yeah. You pull this out of your pocket and check your heart rate. In fact, it'll check something called heart rate variability, which is stress level. Huh. So, um, you could use it as a meditation aid or mindfulness aid. Mm -hmm. You could use it to see a recovery time after exercise mm -hmm. or anything you want. And this is another thing that snaps on it. This measures flex. So if you wanted to see um, someone, oh. how many times you're bending your joint or doing some rehabilitation, you'd add this and it would measure the flex. The idea is to let people invent whatever they want, knock down some of the barriers uh -huh. to that. So that's what Arduino is. So my, my father-in-law had rotator cuff surgery, and okay. he had to do this. He had to do this exercise where he would crawl up the wall to see how far right. his arm would go up. You so he could use something a game to score it yeah. and motivate. You, there's an invention right there. Yeah, that or he, you know, he had to track his progress by drawing a line of how far up he could walk his fingers. Now you could just get up. That's a, the idea. Yeah, that's incredible. So lots of people have ideas, but it takes a, to make a wearable. It takes this big stack of skills. Um, I mean, at the at the bottom, there's this sort of hardware, mm -hmm. right? How to build hardware, how to make firmware, how to do wireless, how to do software, mm -hmm. how to do data. And then there's these other skill sets like, well, what, what about the human body? What's the normal range yes. of motion? What does a heart signal look like? And it's hard to get those together. So I want to create the full stack so that someone who's got one set of skills, mm -hmm. like software, mm -hmm. can improve that part and use the other parts. Or someone has medical knowledge and has a medical idea, they've got all this other stuff. So that's what we're trying to create. We're on crowd supply in pre-launch right now. We haven't started yet, okay. still getting ideas, looking for people that might want to join the project. Those are some cases we're playing around with. Mm -hmm. This is the case from the most common uh, wearable, which is a Fitbit, uh -huh. yeah. and there's millions of them, so we figured, well, let's make it fit that. So these yeah. will fit in that case. Wow. And we're also playing around with other cases because there might be many different ways to wear it. So there you have it. That's absolutely outstanding. If people wanted to find more information about this, they can head over to your website? They, we don't actually have a website for this yet. Okay. They can follow on Twitter, at Wearduino, okay. like the word on the sign, yep. or they can go to the Crowd Supply website, which is our partner who's going to make this, mm -hmm. and they have a Wearduino. You can search for Wearduino on Crowd Supply, and you find it there. You sign up, and we'll keep you posted. 
Well, that's great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. Oh, we really appreciate it. With me. I enjoyed the opportunity yeah. to tell people the story.